No, this is my first time. Honestly, I think this is my first time talking about David Montgomery this year, and it's a shame because he absolutely deserves so much more respect. Um, this is what you call grown man football, and I'm here to make a claim for David Montgomery being, I don't know, he's, if he's not one, you got you guys let me know in the comment section, but he should be two or three in the NFL in the run for Office of Player of the Year. Um, this is just absolutely phenomenal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight man box receivers in tight. Everything is big on big, and he walks this thing in from the end zone. Um, now, as much credit as you got to give to the Detroit Lions offensive line, as you can see, they get off of the ball, and immediately people are being moved downfield. Right now, the Cowboys do have backups in, but we've seen this all year from David Montgomery. He's going to hit this hole. Abandon his fullback who goes through the gap, makes this guy jump out of his gap, leaving this cutback right here. Great job of having vision as a ball carrier. Hit that hole with authority, run through the arm tackle and deliver a stiff arm to Wilson, and then just keep running. The balance it takes to stay up, spin out of this play, take more contact and dive into the end zone is just absolutely phenomenal. What we are getting from David Montgomery it's sort of similar to the team Jared Goff had when he was with the Rams. David Montgomery is looking like Todd Gurley this year. I'm not going to lie to you. It's reminding me of Todd Gurley, the vision, the patience, the way he hits the hole. He's fighting through contact. Uh, he deserves every dollar of his extension. And when you can do this to an eight-man box, abandon the fullback, find the crease, stiff arm, break tackle, run through contact, run through more contact, touchdown. It's absolutely phenomenal. Talking about with David Montgomery, man, there's some things you can coach, there's some things you can scheme, and then there's some things you just, it's just willpower. Look at the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight man box again. We coming out, two tight ends, we gonna match. They got single high safety. He's fairly close, you know what I mean, for run support. But what we do here, get it going. All tackle. Look at the lane. The ability to move people out of the way, that's one thing. Best offensive line of football, not number two. But once he's able to <clears throat> hit the lane that they increase, there is acceleration. He runs through arm tackles. And then not only is David Montgomery the running back that'll run you over, he can get shifty in space, puts the moves on Trayvon, don't know, want to tackle nobody gigs, and runs through all this contact as he picks up more. Oh, that wasn't Trayvon. I'm sorry. He gets Trayvon another play later. Sorry about that, Trayvon. I didn't mean to put one on you. That wasn't on you. Um, but here we go. We got number two in there. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's number two. Yeah, that's mm, – he don't want to tackle nobody. Yeah, number two, number six, number whoever. Don't nobody want to tackle nobody. Um, but, yeah, we got another one with this coming up. But just, the ability to find the hole, as you can see, find it, hit it with authority, run through the arm tackle. Now you got you and one man and nothing but space and opportunity. Give him some wiggle. Run through the arm tackles. He's a pinball on ice. I mean, it's crazy. He's he's a bowling ball on ice. Forget a pinball. David Montgomery is a bowling ball on ice. Look at the box. Look how loaded the box is. Look at the ability to move people out of the way. And nobody wants to wrap up a tackle. And Trayvon don't want to tackle nobody. Diggs don't want to tackle nobody. I'm only showing this to show the difference because you get guys like Jamal Williams that come over here and they think it's just easy. Um, I mean, there's it's one thing to be running up behind the best offensive line in football. It's another thing to do it. With one, two, three, four, five, six, seven man boxes, eight man boxes at all times. And just look at the patience. Look at the patience. Jump cut, slide into a cut, find the lane, dover, over, never over pursue. Hit the hole with authority, break down, find the side alley. What? Another cut, runs through arm tackles. Trayvon, don't want to tackle nobody, digs, don't want to tackle nobody. And then to find another cut, just running through all these arm tackles. Bro look like Adrian Peterson. I bro look like, I mean, this is how you take a team's soul, the patience, cut one, cut two, cut three, all the while running through arm tackles and falling forward. Dallas didn't want to play no more. They wanted to send DMs after. They didn't want to fade. They didn't want to fight. All that act like they wanted to box in, in the first half. We came out and taught them boys a lesson, man. Y'all want to cheat us? This will happen. We're going to come back and punch you in the mouth. 60, Glasgow doing a great job of finishing his block throughout this play. Eyes on 60. 
opens up the extra back door for him to come through. Look here, give me two, clear him out. That's a three piece. Run through Trayvon. Don't want to tackle nobody. Digs. Run through forty one. Nobody want to tackle. We took these boys' hearts. We took these boys' souls. Amazing job by the Detroit Lions. And David Montgomery should be, you know, in that top three space for offensive player of the year the way he's running this year.